Hey, it's Carl from Art of Shred, and I am here with the Indio Boardwalk Semi Hollow Body Guitar in red. I really wanted to find some flaws in this one, but there weren't any. <laughs> Here's why I wanted to find flaws in this guitar. I got it for free. Indio sent it to me, or Monoprice sent it to me. I feel really strongly about being unbiased and all of that. It sounds weird, I think, when I give a guitar a really good review if I got that guitar for free. I'll have a full video below about how I feel about sponsored videos and all that. It's gonna be an unlisted video so you can click it in the description and hear all about that. But yeah, this is a sponsored video. I got this guitar for free. It is a, a at the time of filming, it's around $200. It, the price changes, I've seen it everywhere from like 160, 170 to over 200. So yeah, they always have sales, they always have discounts, all of that type of thing. Obviously made in China for that price, it's gotta be. Let's talk about it. So apparently on these guitars, you know, they send them to their distribution center in, I believe, California, and they set them up. I gotta say, no, no fret sprout, no high frets. The action is set at like two millimeters and I haven't changed it. That's how it came out of the box, which is a little bit high for my liking like it a little bit below that's fine this is it's totally out of the box playable so for beginners if you're looking for a sol a semi hollow uh, body guitar it's pretty pretty great the scale length is in millimeters 628 millimeters it's almost 24 and three quarter inches as far as the scale length two pneumatic bridge stop bar tailpiece two humbuckers three-way pickup switch two volume, two tone controls, a bone nut. It looks nice. The binding looks nice. I gotta say, for the price, really, really well done. I'm pleasantly surprised and really the only really negative things I can say about these is the volume and tone. They feel kind of cheap and the pickups are not Phenomenal sounding. Those are all things that every cheap guitar deals with. Oh, and of course, cheap tuners. Yeah, other than that, it's hard to say anything negative about this guitar, and I hate that because uh, I, <laughs> I feel like every time there's a sponsored review or somebody gets a, a free, well, a lot of times guitar reviews on YouTube, they're sponsored and you don't even know it because people don't say it. You know, if there's Nothing negative said about some, there's always something that's not ideal, you know? And yeah, you know, this isn't a perfect guitar. I'm talking about as far as for beginners, this is great. I am, I am just surprised and uh, yeah, I'm just surprised that it's a really good cheap guitar for, for beginners, but again, I gave, I gave that Indio Retro Classic a good review too, or as well. I know, you know, I've read a bunch of reviews and things like that about the Indio guitars. I know they're not always perfect. I, I will say, I don't think I got a special guitar. They just like send them straight from the factory. And even uh, the, the person I was speaking with at the company, they're like, you know, we don't want to influence your review. You can say whatever you want. You can keep the guitar when you're done but you can say whatever you want and we don't need to review your review before it goes live. That's pretty impressive, I think, for a company to do because negative reviews can really hurt a, a brand. Let's get into some sound demos. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a semi-hollow, so we're not gonna be doing as much metal type riffing as I 
I like to do on other guitars. So uh, we'll do some other stuff. And I will get dirty with it, of course, because there's nothing that says you can't with one of these. Let's do some rancid riffs. No, I'm not gonna do rancid riffs. So yeah, subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. And let's get to some sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 